collaboration collection of these European slash Spanish style prints for like about two to three years now. This is going to be our fourth collection and this is the first time we're focusing a little bit more on the Fontaine house. It's pretty cool, like this place exists since the 70s and it has those old tiles inside. Yeah, it's crazy. You, may, you can see it like in every room, like you would just see a different set of collections. We started, like we did a sample. I think that was the first shot I took. That was in Steinweg. It was like, this cool yeah. print was like a bit of turquoise with purple. It was so nice, so cool. Yeah. And I think that's like the first one that we did. First print in Aruba, it was actually printed just like they would do like a photo print on canvas. That's how we printed our first like bag option. So then we had that done on a piece of fabric that we can make a product out of and we got so excited. Yeah, it's actually funny because people, when I started posting it, people started like reaching out. They're like, yo, my grandma has these tiles in her house. You should Far come out. and shoot them. Yeah. That's sick. I was like, all right, I'll jump in, I'll come and check them out. And that's how that started. And I could slowly work my way from Rheinstadt, I mean, Santa Cruz, San Nicolas. Like, it was just like kind of scattered everywhere. And you would have all these different prints. Yeah, and this is actually one of the first times that people can actually come to Aruba and buy something that was not only handmade in Aruba, but it actually has a story because of all these like areas in Aruba yeah. that has all this history, this rich history as a matter of fact, from yeah. all these like old tiles. Yeah. And so like we get to document all of it and then add them on to like bags or t-shirts and things like that. So that's pretty dope, man. Yeah. general vision of what I would like to create with like this specific collection is to bring together like art and also bring together like craftsmanship and put it together for people that come to visit us or try to check out the island and they can have something to take back home that is not just a souvenir but actually a story something that like they can tell to other people and it's related to like other people that were involved yeah and that's what makes it like something that you, it's worth treasuring, let's put it that, in those specific words. I mean, can't get more authentic than that. Nah, no, okay. <laughs>